What is going on everyone? It's your guy Cole Jackson back here on Road Graders and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics. It's Jadavion Cloudy. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, I put out a video that said you're too low on Jadavion Clowney. And I hate to pat my own back, but I think I was right, guys. Um so he's coming off a 9 pressure performance. Uh absolutely dominated um the uh the line of the Tennessee Titans that gets him up to 29 pressures on the year um just so you guys have a, a point of reference in Cleveland last year in 305 pass rush opportunities he had 29 pressures this year through six games he has 185 pressure or er, pass rush opportunities for 29 pressures so he's already matched that four sacks to go along with it obviously we all remember a couple of those missed tackles that should have been sacks um and just to see league wide he's got 29 that ties him with the likes of nick bosa micah parsons who was playing on monday night football he'll obviously go up he's one behind aaron donald he's ahead in names like trey hendricks and tj watt miles garrett even has 26 but again had a bye week so you got to factor those in um so he's in good company he's up there with the top pass rushers um and the ravens got him for what was it 2.8 million dollars at the end of the summer so if you guys are fired up about Jadavion Clowney, if you guys are loving what he's bringing to the team hit that like button hit subscribe if you're new here so you guys can find your way back to more videos and drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think about Clowney. is he meeting your expectations and more importantly do you think he gets another contract here um so we're going to get into his pass rush opportunities um him and kyle van noy again van noy so many good plays in this game um we're going to focus on Clowney, but i'll try and highlight van noy as we go through so here you're going to get him against the left tackle for that QB hit. Absolutely destroyed. But he, this is what's working so well for him. The way he's setting up outside and then attacking that inside arm. And so you're going to see right here, he's going to rip a little bit of a rip dip on the inside. Just right under enough to get through. Um, but, you know, the speed explosiveness and the change of direction, just a rip under the left tackle, Andre Dillard, and get right to Tannehill. Um, ball obviously way off. Tannehill's got to be feeling that pressure though so then we get into another one here on the right side beautiful spin move watch Kyle Van Noy on the left side see that spin move he comes in but watch what Jadavion Clowney does so he's going to get the right tackle setting vertically again he's going to set him out wide and convert speed to power and look at this just boom absolutely destroys that man uh, ball out quick didn't matter um, but this is just this is what's working so well and this is what I think is working for Clowney is he's so full of confidence right now where he's doing stuff like this um, stuff that you haven't seen in a couple years from Clowney um, here we're going to get a little bit of a nice you know Kyle Van Noy gets the pressure there um, mobile quarterback Malik Willis and now we're going to start to kind of close the game uh, later but you kind of get a nice rush from Kyle Van Noy on the opposite side you're going to get that stunt with Matabike on the inside there he's going to wrap but then just you know relentless Working the leverage point, finishing. Um, you know, obviously not a pass rush win there, but I love seeing him finish those tackles. That's happening more and more as the year goes on. Makes me think as he converts those, that sack totals are going to climb and climb and climb, which is what you want. Same thing here, forcing the pressure, working off that stunt. You're going to get mad at BK, working upfield here, creating that loop opportunity for Jadavion Clowney. Those two are working so well off one another. As he does that, again, you're seeing a little bit of that hezzy step. We looked at that in the last video. You get that hezzy step. Again, just in his bag, doing what works so well for him, working inside, forcing Malik Willis out so he can't get a you know nice scramble there for Willis. But obviously pressure is what we want to see. Clowney just working there, forcing out. If you guys watch this morning, you'll see this in the Justin Mata BK video. Um, I think this was designed, I think, Clowney was supposed to cut inside. It's not a stunt. Like it's not an. If it's a stunt, he's gonna pick the le the right. Or sorry, the left guard. He's gonna work inside, and as he does, Matabike works outside and gets the sack. Um, but it's all off of that right here. It's all off of that inside rush by Jadavion Clowney. Just really good stuff. You know, absolutely destroying his tackle, working him inside forcing willis out and then matabike cleans it up and then we're going to get into some snaps here this was as the titans drove 
They got right down inside the five yard line, and it was kind of the Clowney and Van Noy show that closed this game down. So we're gonna see some of Clowney's highlights in here, and this was just like high quality sack here. Um, I'm really interested. Brandon Thorne tracks all these and, and rates them, so I'm wondering if he's gonna mark this as a high quality. So you're gonna see Petit Frere get out a little 45 degree set. Clowney plants that left foot right there. As he does, you can already see that's a wide base. Petit Frere's, you know, he's worried about the speed on the outside, so he's going to set that wide base, and Clowney just works right by him. Gets that little swim move, so he's just going to go yoink, swim him inside, and once again, finish for the sack. Beautiful. Now he's on the right side. Another hezzy move there. Getting inside. He's going to finish with... Uh, Let's go back and look at that a little bit closer. Really, really nice. Again, this this is that little hezzy move that he's using. So he's going to get out there. And then that is very choppy. Again, working that anchor. He's This is what he's doing so well. He's just converting speed to power, collapsing through, closing with Kyle Van Noy. So what I want to hear from you guys is Jadavion Clowney going to get another contract? Should he get another contract? What do you guys think? I'll let some of the plays go through while I give you guys my opinion. Um, I think you got to seriously consider it. Um, it really depends on what you think of Odaf Aowe and David Ajabo. Unfortunately, we haven't seen them, right? Um, but I think the Ravens got to really look at keeping a vet around. Like they've kept Clayus Campbell around for a few years. I think that veteran stability really helps the young pass rushers. Um, and I'd really love to see it. So something I really would like to see them do, but I mean, I've made two videos today alone about Matabike and Clowney, both guys that need to contract. So you can only sign so many guys. Is Clowney going to be one of them? Is this kind of his last ditch to get a payday in the NFL? If so, he's doing a darn good job at earning it. So good on him. Anyway, drop a comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.